Just sitting back in your Holy Ghost easy chair and let the Holy Spirit take you on a journey as you're going to worship right now. We leave the world at the door right now. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now, the next 45 minutes, we leave the world at the door and completely rest in Lord. Give everything to Lord in prayer, every worry, every stress, every fear, every anxiety, every struggle, every infirmity, whatever it is, we take time right now and lay everything on the altar, everything on the altar, and then let go. Let go and do what? Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower, the strong tower in each of our lives, whose hand we never let go, Lord, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panted for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. And when we do that, Lord, like song says, we remember that Jesus is so good to me. The only reason we're all here right now is because Jesus has been so good to each one of us. And as the song plays, get lost in the song. I'm not going to sing it. Get lost in music. He's been so good to me.
about your goodness and what you've done for me I want to dance 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 all night Lord what you've done for me just to say thank you Lord thank you Lord for what you've done for each one of us Lord in this fellowship no one is here by accident Lord you handpicked everyone in this fellowship to be here right now at this point in time in this fellowship to come together around the world and praise and worship and fellowship together where two or more are gathered together in your name you are in the midst Lord I would just say thank you Lord thank you Jesus and right now we just say have your way Lord have your way you are the potter we are the clay mold us Lord mold us in what you need us to be today Lord every day have your way in every way and right now we humbly bow Lord we humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom. Lord, we've laid everything on altar, Lord. We've laid everything on altar. And now we trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord to those who are called according to his purpose inhale the breath of life exhale the word of God call me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know inhale the breath of life exhale your favorite scripture 
Yes, Lord. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Oh, yes, Lord. We feel the weightlifting, Lord. We feel the weightlifting right now. We feel your peace, Lord. We feel your unconditional love. And most importantly, we feel the anointing flowing right now. The anointing is always flowing in his presence. So right now, as we do every day, receive a fresh anointing right now. Let's say it together. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Say it again. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Bask in it. Immerse yourself in it. Get lost in it. Yes, Lord. Your anointing destroys every yoke, Lord. The anointing is the bird removing, yoke destroying power of God. The anointing will break through for healing, deliverance, provision, for whatever it is you need to walk in victory, his anointing gives you the victory. Walk in it, bask in it, receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The dancer, hallelujah.
slow version, the slow version of dancing with the Lord, to let God carry you through the storm, to let God lift you off the ground and carry you through, over, victoriously, over every stormy face. Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me, says the Lord. And that's why we must learn to have no fear, stand still. Have no fear, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In other words, stand still and watch God. Stand still and watch God turn your life around. Your situation around. Your struggle around. Whatever you go, whatever it is you're facing right now. Stand still and watch God. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. Hallelujah. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Be still and know that I am God. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, we let go, Lord. We let go right now in your eyes. In your eyes, in your eyes.
Midnight inspiration.
peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Peace be still. beautiful time together, Lord. Resting in your presence, Lord, one-on-one. -on -one. Because it's just you and me, Lord. It's just you and me and nobody else. Resting in your presence, your love, your anointing, Resting in you, Lord. Resting in you. And right now, as we bask in the afterglow of worship, we feel the afterglow of the anointing all over us. The peace beyond understanding is all over us right now. In his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, Father God, I pray this corporate intercessory prayer over the fellowship right now, Lord. Father God, I stand in agreement with every unspoken prayer request that's on the heart of every fellowship member right now, live archive. Prayers for healing. Prayers for family. Prayers for loved ones. Prayers for breakthrough and deliverance. Provision and direction. And every other unspoken prayer request, Lord, I stand in agreement with all these prayer requests and decree and declare all these unspoken prayer requests shall come to pass, Lord. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. And where two or more are gathered together in your name, you are in the midst, Lord. So right now, I decree and declare that all of these prayer requests that's on the heart of every fellowship member shall come to pass in a mighty name. Jesus, we pray. And Lord, as we continue to come together as a fellowship, Lord, six days a week, Lord, every day, Lord, every day, we not only pray for world peace, Lord, but every day we pray for a double hedge protection over everybody to be protected from any unexpected violence, shootings, accidents, or violence of any kind, Lord. We pray daily for healing, Lord. 
We pray for our leaders, for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirits of rebellion, division, racism, and hatred. As we commit as a fellowship to humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways. So you are here from heaven. Forgive our sins and heal our land. All these things we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we close this beautiful night together in fellowship, I always know at some point someone's watching or visiting for the first time who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. Come together six days a week, day and night, over two hours to praise and worship and fellowship together around the world. But someone watching right now doesn't understand why we're so driven in this fellowship. So right now I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted. I respect the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been here the whole time. And you heard the intense jazz praise. You heard the worship. And you can see and feel the love on this fellowship. But right now you can't connect. Because right now your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety, overwhelm, hopelessness is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stab you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel and have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that's why you're here. You, you may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to a life of sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and fell back into sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether right now you're a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression and hope and hope, hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create me, Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you in Jesus name now if you said that prayer sincerely your spirit isn't right your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us to guide us and also convict us we're not one God's will the Holy Spirit will show you people activities and things you're doing right now in your life which is bringing darkness 
into your life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. The next step is to repent. And repent means to change your ways from sinful ways to God's ways. It may seem hard at first, but the stronger the Holy Spirit gets in you by spending more time with God, before you know it, you'll be able to easily turn away from those things you used to do and walk in God's will and God's way instead. Amen. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke, bind, and cast out this spirit's retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please give us protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, Lord. Physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. But your strike will be healed, Lord. And we confess, Lord, we confess every day. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus every day. Confess it and thank him. Confess it and thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray and then something happens. Loose. Super, supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation, Lord. Lord, let your blessing, Lord. Your blessing of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship any financial need, whatever it is. For you supply all our need according to your riches in glory through Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything. The Lord is my shepherd. Now repeat my fellowship and say this part together. Fellowship, be after me. For I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall my enemies hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know. Now we know, Lord, every day we take time, every day we take time to visualize the miracle. See it every day. Visualize it. See it. Believe it. And then receive it in your heart. And as you receive it in your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day you wake up, could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
The Lord set his face of a divided pool upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray over, a blessing to everyone you pass by, and bless when I open your mouth because of love and light and Lord is all over you. 24 7, 365, including leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. And the fellowship say, Amen. Amen. Amen.